all right you guys i need your help i'm curious will you come along with me on a 30-day challenge what is up you guys welcome back to another video my name is kira if you are new and today we're talking about something kind of brand new on my channel i don't think i've ever really done anything like this but it's something i am super 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 excited about so i am participating in a 30-day challenge so my friend my good friend here on youtube nicole burgess we met years and years and years ago nicole myself and vanessa over at lemonade mom put together a cookbook together we've gone on vacations and visited each other we've been in each other's homes we've been friends for a very very long time and when i first met nicole she was doing a lot of couponing videos and Dollar Tree, but then she started getting into like a health vibe and she did keto for a while. She did anabolic for a while. Now she's literally just a beast. She watches what she eats. She goes to the gym and I am literally impressed with the following that she's created an inspiration like it almost chokes me up a little bit because I don't think you guys really understand what it feels like to sit in this seat if you get the opportunity to influence just one person in a way that changes their life in a positive manner sitting down in the seat was worth it so I completely understand as an influencer what it feels like to make a difference and so for a very long time Nicole was doing a lot of challenges all of the time and she hasn't done one in a really like a long time and she's been talking about it on Instagram and she said she was going to put a video out about it so I'll link her video in the description box if you guys want to go and watch it but the like grand scheme of it all is the 30 day challenge is gonna be catered to what works for you. Now, I absolutely love that. I was waiting for her video to come out because I was dying to see what her challenges were. I really like them. I'm always kind of jealous when she does all these challenges and all these people are like tagging her and they're so excited and she's amped them up and she's motivated them and she's inspired them. Even my cousin Ashlyn, who's been like a beast at the gym herself, she follows Nicole and she tells me all the time how truly motivating that Nicole is. And that's wonderful to hear. Like, I absolutely love that like I think that is absolutely amazing but some of the things that she's done in the past I haven't been able to get on board with like just doing the anabolic or the carnivore or the Mediterranean challenge or all these things that she did not all of them is it a style of eating that I would choose so I never got a chance to get on board and it made me sad like I even tried the 75 hard and I, I like I just I couldn't really get on board but the whole point of this 30 day challenge is Nicole's trying to bring back community and camaraderie. And I totally get that as well. I know how good that feels when everybody's tagging everybody because they achieved their goal today or thank you so much for motivating me so that I got to my goal today. And she just shares everybody who tags her. And it's amazing how many people think of her when they complete a task. And I just, love that but when she said that this 30-day challenge was going to be geared towards whatever worked for us i finally got excited because it was something i can get on board with be part of that community part of that camaraderie and be able to do something that's catered to myself so the whole point is for 30 days challenge yourself to do something that's outside of your comfort zone whatever it chooses to be maybe you only walk 6,000 steps or 8,000 steps and you want to push it to that 10,000 steps a day maybe it's has nothing to do with exercise maybe it has to do with increasing your water intake or counting your macros and watching what you eat or maybe it has nothing to do with all of that and it's something like you want to make sure that you read 50 pages a day or if religion is your thing maybe you want to sit with the bible for a couple of minutes each day and reflect on on your time whatever it is that 
you've been letting go in your everyday life and you haven't been giving that focus and attention to, now's the time to do it. So starting tomorrow, August 22nd is when she's starting her 30 day challenge and it's going to go until September 20th. And like I said, when I saw that it was something I can get on board with, that's it. Now I'm in. So here's the things that I'm going to do. I'm not going to overwhelm myself, but I do feel a little jump start in wanting to feel a little bit healthier and better about myself because I lost 10 pounds on COVID. And you know when you like lose a little bit of weight, it like jump starts your motivation. You're like always stuck in that losing weight and then all of a sudden the scale drops 10 pounds and you're like, all right, yes, that scale is moving in the right direction let's keep it going and then it lights a spark and then you're ready so now my spark got lit and i am ready and then she mentions this challenge and i can design it to whatever works for me i'm in so what i'm going to do for myself is i'm going to start off by increasing my water intake i have three things that i want to accomplish during this 30-day challenge okay and so I really need to increase my water. Right now I'm drinking none. I have this 32 ounce like tumbler that Daryl had made for me with my 50 Shades logo on it. I really love it. Um, like I said, it's 32 ounces and I'm gonna try and drink two of those a day. 64 ounces is nowhere near enough water but it's a heck of a lot better than zero and that's exactly where I'm at right now. I'll drink my Gatorade and whatever you know, but still nothing is as good as water, which is what I really need to drink. And I feel like when I drink water, I see a difference. The weight sheds off, I feel better. And yet I just never force myself to do it. So that's goal number one for me. Goal number two is going to be tracking my macros for the 30 days. I know that sounds sometimes for some a little com like complex or complicated or time consuming, but I'm just going to use the MyFitnessPal. Um, Nicole recommended a really good app to me. I'll put that link in the description box as well. It is a fee for $12.99 a month or $14.99 a month. And I want to see if I can get back into the mode of doing it. If I can get back into the mode of tracking what I eat for the 30 days, then I'll purchase that app, which allows you to have like contact with like trainers and health professionals that could help you through all of that so to be able to have live one-on-one -on -one all of the time in an app for just that cheap price plus you can track your macros it really is a good deal but even that amount of money I'm not going to spend that if I'm going to fall off the wagon because that happens to me all the time. I'm like, go, go, go. And then I fall off. And that's why I want to be part of something that's part of a community. So I don't fall off. You guys can help me be accountable for that. And I need that in my life because you will write to me on Instagram and say, where are you? Where are you at today, Kira? Where, where are my girls at? You know, and then all of a sudden you're like, all right, I dropped the ball. I got to move. So I really just want to track what I'm eating. I want to see what I'm doing wrong because I know that what I'm doing wrong is I'm breaking my fast in the morning with not the proper things. I'm doing more snacking, not enough eating, and what I am eating is not always the best. So I just want to be able to see it in black and white. It's really important to me to try and force myself to like stay in a caloric deficit it's the only way to lose weight so i i really need to do that for myself and if i see it then i can find where my mistakes are if i'm having any if that makes any sense you know and obviously i am if i'm overweight where i'm at uh, and then the last thing the third thing that i want to incorporate is exercise i absolutely love my apple watch this was a gift from my mother for christmas and i literally wear it every single day uh, it was the first tan lines that i got when i went to new york i have this like weird watch pattern you can see it's like a crisscross right there or an x shape and that's the like design that I have on my wrist from a tan line. I, I love it and I love it because it's a great motivator. It has your rings on it and you have to try and complete your rings. So it has three different categories that you have to try and complete. One of them is standing. How many hours do you want to make sure you stand a day? So I have mine set for 12 hours and I hit my stand goal every single day. 
Uh, the other thing is your move goal. So I have it set for wanting to burn 750 calories a day. Now my watch is on my wrist, so it'll count me doing something like this because it detects movement. So it knows right now that I'm moving, but in actuality, you're still burning calories right now. I can still feel my muscles tightening when I'm moving and stuff. So you're still burning calories. But every time that you move, and I talk with my hands, so that helps a little bit, um, you're burning calories. So I try and hit my 750 calorie um, move goal every day and then 20 minutes of exercise. If you guys go through, I can't even tell you the amount of times I've closed that green ring because it's not a lot because your watch is detecting exercise from you raising your heart rate. Sometimes I could have walked 10,000 steps that day, but still only had four minutes of movement because it needs you to raise your heart rate in order to burn and consider it movement, exercise. And even when I'm bustling around this house taking care of my kids, you're still not burning calories. It's not the same. And there are days where I feel like I'm exhausted and I haven't stopped and I've cleaned all day and I've done laundry and I've done dishes and I've swept and mopped the floors and I've changed beds. But really, how far did I go? I'll look at my watch and say, I only went 3,000 steps today. Well, yeah, it's because I spent an hour in this room cleaning everything and doing all the things. So although I might have felt busy and hadn't stopped really moving I wasn't burning and I feel like I started going back to work and I was starting to feel good like I was going to lose a little bit of weight and then I left on vacation and I got COVID and I came home and I had to wait for the kids to go back to school and now the kids are going back to school and now I'm back to work this weekend and so I feel really good. I need to start like getting back and moving and burning the calories. But that's what this 30 day challenge is going to do. And I hope that you will come along with me because you can cater it to whatever works for you. And I feel like that's going to be great because maybe there's maybe you're breastfeeding and you just want to make sure that you pump you know, 12 ounces every day or 20 ounces every day. And sometimes you're lazy and you don't want to. Like it could be literally anything, but you need to challenge yourself to do that for 30 days. And so I'm going to challenge myself to drink my two things of water, to exercise and close my green ring on my watch and get some kind of movement for 20 minutes a day. And I want to track what I'm eating. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, come follow me so we can tag each other and motivate each other and you can share what you're doing in your progress and I can share mine and if you guys go over and follow Nicole you'll get to see all the people who are joining her challenge make sure you hashtag 30 day challenge and tag me in it you can tag her I will put all of her information in the description box but she's just super motivating this is motivating and I'm really really excited about it and I haven't been excited about anything in a really long time and so especially like this like exercise and movement because you know, I'll, I'll, I'll walk that day or I'll, if I'm not working, we'll take my kids and we'll go for a walk. Like it's time for a change and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to take you guys with me. I will say this though. I'm going to New York for Labor Day weekend. Unless something miraculous happens, I'm going home for a wedding. There are a few things that I have to eat there, especially since I'm taking Vanessa with me. And so we're going to be eating like she's going to eat New York pizza for the first time and a New York egg sandwich for the first time and stuff. So there are some exceptions to that weekend. But besides that, it's pedal to the metal, balls to the wall. We're ready to rock and roll. So I hope you guys are going to come along with me. If you are, give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you're going to challenge yourself with. I'm super excited to hear what everybody's going to do. And I, like I said, I'm going to start bright and early uh, tomorrow morning for you guys. Because I'm going to put this video out on Sunday. So it'll be tomorrow morning, Monday the 22nd. It's game on. So let me know if you guys are going to join me. I'm excited. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe if you are new. Video a thumbs up and all the good things. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.